Yeah, it's been really helpful. I've, like you said, I've had my Tempur-Pedic for probably over 10 years now. And, um, you know, I think I've always taken it for granted because I've always gotten really good sleep, really high quality sleep. But recently I was on the road in Paris uh, watching Venus play in the French Open. And I literally probably slept two hours accumulative. I physically couldn't sleep. I had bags under my, I could not, I was miserable. And um, that's when I realized that how how fortunate I was to have my Tempur-Pedic at home because it contours to my body. It just keeps me comfortable and it's just been so great. It's like a pregnancy angel. I think 10 years ago I was preparing for this without knowing it and now I'm like, okay, this is great. And obviously when I, when I do have the baby and I want to get back to training, I really want to have that quality sleep I need because I want to come back. So that January date that I read about in Vanity Fair, right? That was... Still in the radar? It's in the radar. If you know me, you know that I have the most unrealistic goals. I mean, I'm having a baby in the fall and I'm talking about playing in January. That's like ridiculous. Um, but who, who knows? It's not, if it happens, great, you know, but if it doesn't happen, it's not the end of the world. I'm okay with that too. And, um, you know, no big deal. I'll just keep going to the next goal. We also know that you're getting married, obviously. There was a, a bridal shower that happens? Um, no, it hasn't happened yet. Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> no, I'm, we're still waiting. Um, there was a bridal shower. After the bridal comes the bachelorette. Everything's in reverse, yeah. but um, hopefully I'll have those moments. Yeah. We definitely want to get married. We're just keeping that hush-hush between us right now and yeah. our closest family and friends, and that's it. Do we know if it's a boy or a girl yet? We're waiting. You're gonna wait. Yeah, it's hard when you go to the doctor. You're like, do I ask today or do I don't ask? I mean, even now, baby is turning flips. So, if you have a daughter, what would you teach her about, uh, you know, women versus men, sexism? You know, something we have to deal with in our lives. And um, I think if it is a girl, mommy is probably one of the best people that's been dealing with it. So we'll we'll have a lot to talk about.